moving up. I then proceeded to load that particular family into this one. All right. And let me just check something. So other than placing it where I needed it to, that's the main thing I needed to do. I didn't need to constrain it or anything because it's not actually moving in this particular family. I then went and linked each one of these parameters to a corresponding parameter in this family. So I could then control them through in this particular family as well. So in here we have all those same parameters. I've just grouped them under dimensions. I also added some ones for the materials. So this level, we didn't really need to do a lot. I then saved that out. And in this family, this was meant to be the one just to control the angle. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, I couldn't get it to pivot around the right point. So I then just simply locked it to the origin point in this particular family. And again, linked through all those parameters like so. So it's basically identical set of parameters to the other one. And in this final family I placed it again but in this time the pivot point was coming out correctly so I set up the bit for the main turntable. Um, some two reference planes there and then I constrained Uh, sorry, then I add a dimension to control the angle, so it's just an angular dimension that I've simply gone off that to the origin point of my um, main arm. Okay, and that was essentially, and then of course obviously linked all those parameters again. And in this one, I gave the materials some values. Um, so I could then essentially change it all. Okay, so what if we wanted to add some formulas to actually control... Um, sort of the, what the main boom angle could actually drop to and things like that. Um, let's run through that. Now in Revit, I can't actually set rules on a, on, a, um, on a particular family or on a particular parameter and still be able to adjust it. As soon as I start putting a formula against it, it, it grays out is because the result is dictated by the formula. So what I'm going to do is I might add an extra parameter in here and I'm going to make it an angle and I might call this actual um, main boom angle and I'm going to make it an instance parameter okay um, So, I have to have a think about this because I'm just doing this off the top of my head now. Um, what I want to set up is, say for instance, the main boom angle has to be between 60 and 89 degrees. So, what I need to do is set some conditions on those. So, this main boom angle Let's make this 65. So I'm going to use some conditional statements. So I'm going to say if um, the actual, sorry, I'm going the wrong way around here. Do it over here. Um, if main boom angle is less than 60 
then I'm going to say, well, you have to be 60. Otherwise, you're allowed to be whatever the main boot angle has been set at. Alright, so... But, I want it to be also... I want to set another rule on this that says... Um, if it's higher than 89 degrees, um, that it needs to be 89 degrees. So I'm going to put an AND in here as well. So to do that, bracket, AND. Mm. Actually, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to go do a double nest here. So I'm going to put another if statement in here. Main boom angle is greater than 89. Make it 89. Otherwise, just leave it as main boom angle and double bracket it out to finish it off. Alright, so let's test that. So if I set this to 55, you can see this stays at 60. If I set it to 61, it actually lets that pass through. So basically this is what the user is controlling at the endpoint, but I've built in some rules here that override those based on the actual values that you're allowed. So again, if I set this to 90, it's going to lock it at 89. And we could do a similar sort of thing with all these extensions. And actually, if we really wanted to complicate it, we said we could add rules that said you know, if extension 1 plus extension 2 plus extension 3 plus extension 4, and you're at this such and you're at this such an angle, then you cannot um, you can't go past this demand and set it for the various steps. Um, my crane knowledge isn't that detailed, so I don't know what those values are, but that's cert it's certainly doable. Um, so the last thing we need to do is that that is still linked um, to the other parameter. It's linked to the main boom angle. I want it to link it to the actual boom angle. Okay, so um, I highly doubt that it can it does ever go up to 89, so maybe 80 might be a more realistic value as the maximum. Um, okay, and that's basically it. Um, I hope you got something out of that. If not, post and I'll try and explain things a little bit better. Thank you.